Ain't about your bread and I can't fuck with y'all I thought you was a honey, but you showed me 50 That's parked outside, that bitch looks so expensive. I bet it cut your eye, huh? Hey, bro, we got Detroit's gang war cash game versus band gang. I don't know who these gangs is. Never heard of them, you feel me? But I know that 42 Doug and Seda Baby are both from Detroit and were in gangs. So maybe they involved in this, but I don't know, bro. That's, okay, let's have to this. Detroit has always been one of the wildest cities in the country, but now, with new hot rappers popping off in the area, fans are learning about the war going on in the city between Cash Gang and Band Gang. Let's take a closer look at one of the craziest beefs going down in the D. Band Gang is a crew of rappers who grew up together on the blocks of Strathmore and Mark Twain on the west side of Detroit. They're not a huge group, but they're known for being scammers and putting their work in the streets. There are six members of the Band Gang in total, Band Gang Lonnie, Maso, Jabbar, Biggs, A. Will, and Jizzle P. They're known for tracks like Band Gang or No Gang and First 48. Band Gang is also affiliated with another group in Detroit called Shred Gang because they grew up in the same area and both had the same ops. But they are two separate groups who happen to rock with each other and often collab on music. They both beef with Cash Gang, who's also known as FWC, a crew that has beef with basically the entire city, including 700, 9000, Block Boys, and of course, Band Gang. The most well-known member of Cash Gang is FWC Big Key, who has earned himself the nickname Big Op for being one of the most hated dudes in the city. Other members of Cash Gang include Cash Gang Lil Head, FWC Lick, Moore, Mike, and Sticks. Although the two crews were never cool, they weren't always at war. But as both groups grew a name for themselves in the streets and in the industry, a tension built that would lead to an all-out war. The incident that pushed the beef between these two rival crews past the point of no return was the killing of a well-known Detroit rapper named Dex Osama. Dex was one of the most feared savages in Detroit at the time he was killed. He was not part of either Cash Gang or Band Gang, but was affiliated with another group called Chopper Boys. He was one of the hottest up-and-coming rappers from Detroit in the early 2010s. His career really started to take off around 2013 and earned him a deal with Meek Mill's Dream Chasers label. Many thought he'd be the next rapper from the D to blow up on the mainstream level and put the city back on the map. But Dex wasn't known as for his music. He was also bike, famous bro. in Detroit for the work he put in on the streets. And when your name gets that big, you're bound to make a few enemies along the way. Dex ended up getting into it with Band Gang after dissing one of their fallen brothers. Band Gang Dada, aka Two Dots, who was killed in the alley back in 2015. Dada got into a fight with a man named Denzel Talbert, who ended up gunning him down. A rapper from Shred Gang named Shred Gang Moan broke down what happened to Dada in an interview with DJ Small's Eyes. How did he pass away? He got killed. He got shot. He says that they were chilling on the block, and one of their homies pulled up and asked if anyone wanted to go downtown. Moan says that he had a bad feeling about it, but they all went anyway. Because I, I felt it. I'm like, no, we ain't going. But we end up still going. So that's the only regret I really got. Besides that one. Live with the punches. They ended up crossing paths with Denzel Tauber and his crew and got into a fight. It's not clear what the fight was over, but the word on the streets is that Dada tried to snatch Tauber's Cartier buffs, so Tauber ran him down and killed him. Others say it was the other way around. But either way, two Band Gang members ended up getting shot, including Dada, who was killed. Dada was one of the founding members of Band Gang and a beloved member of the group. They mentioned Dada in many of their songs, like Dada's Winning by Band Gang Paid Will. Dex Osama had already been beefing with Band Gang and Shred Gang, and it's rumored that they had been in the shootout where his AK was shot out of his hand. After Dada was killed, Dex started using his death as a way to seek revenge on his ops by dissing their dead homie. Dex would drop a track called Jack Boy Sh featuring Rokane, where he spits the bar right around town one chopper. Two blocks hit him in his head and call him two dots. The disrespect of Dada didn't you know, sit right with Band Gang, and it quickly escalated the, the beef shit. between them. Band Gang and Shred Gang would start dissing Dex in their own music and on social media. Then, on September 7, 2015, Dex Osama was shot and killed outside the Crazy Horse Strip Club in Detroit. Two people have been shot, one of them fatally outside the Crazy Horse Strip Club. We are told that this started as an argument over a woman. Dex's girl was a dancer there, and he had gone to see her. He got into an argument with some other dudes who were trying to dance with her, and the situation escalated into gunfire. Dex would be shot and stumbled to a gas station to call for help. 
but the ambulance didn't arrive in time and he would later die in the hospital. The shooting was caught on surveillance and the video shows Dex firing a shot off into the air before the fight broke out. The two men who were arrested for killing Dex Osama, Otis Davis, and Dietrich Odoms were allegedly affiliated with Cash Gang and Shred Gang. Although Dex had his own crew, Chopper Boys, he was cool with FWC Big Key from Cash Gang. The murder of Dex Osama was what started the war that still continues to this day. It made it worse after members of Bang Gang continued to diss Dex on tracks after he was murdered. So, Big Key felt like he had to defend his dead homie. The two gangs started going at it both on social media and in the music. But in 2019, Key went through some legal problems after he was found guilty of two counts of forgery and possession of criminal tools. He ended up avoiding jail time and got sentenced to four years of probation. But before he could get back into the war, he would end up catching another charge later that same year for felony fraud. Somehow, he escaped jail time again and posted bond the next day. But just as Cash Gang was celebrating their leader being back home on the streets, Bang Gang would be mourning the loss of another one of their most respected members, Jizzle P. Aaron Mays, better known as Jizzle P, was shot and killed last night while sitting in a car on Detroit's west side. On September 23rd, 2020, Jizzle P would be brutally murdered right in front of his own mom. Jizzle P Damn. and another dude were sitting in a Chrysler 300 on Fielding Street when a shooter sprayed the car with bullets. The car was parked in the driveway of Jizzle P's mom's house and she witnessed the whole thing. But she says that the killer let off so many shots that the sparks blinded her from seeing who did it. 25-year-old Aaron Mays was sitting in a car, the two of them cracking jokes. When someone ran up, firing so many shots at Mays, his mother says she couldn't see the suspect's face. There was so much muzzle flash from the gun. She would go on the news to mourn the death of her son, and Bang Gang would vow to seek revenge on whoever took their homie from him. But Cash Gang didn't have much respect for the death of one of their ops, and pretty soon after the news broke, they would be on social media dissing the dead rapper. Big Key was the first to start the wild disrespect, laughing at Jizzle P's death on Insta Live, saying that he was getting an AR to smoke more ops. <laughs> yeah, you old man. I'm finna go pick up my mother AR. I done got too many death threats. The rest of Cash Gang will follow his lead and clown the rapper on social media and take credit for the murder. It must have been a planned hit against Bang Gang because Javar later revealed that he got shot on the same day at the same time as Jizzle P in a different location but survived. No, that shit was. Damn. And there ain't nobody know about it either. Hey, if y'all enjoyed it, y'all enjoyed it. Appreciate y'all for watching. Later, God bless you, and y'all finna see y'all, bro. I'm a cool, but not a good. I got your picture, I am packing down. Ain't about your blood, and I'm